Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so guys in this video we're going to be talking about our invest 95 which is that wave located just off the coast of Africa and we're also going to be talking about what is now tropical storm Enrique so we have what was invest 95e now achieving tropical storm status and it is expected to become a hurricane and so guys before I go into details Okay guys, and so first things first, let's talk about Enrique. And so looking at satellite view of it, we're seeing here that it is getting quite organized. It is not the best right now, it's still a little bit disorganized, but as time goes by, it's expected to look better. And we're expecting it to intensify into a hurricane, as I said earlier. And so let us go on to the scorn forecast for it. And so at this time, Enrique has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, and it is accelerating to the west northwest at 9 miles per hour. And so we're expecting that by early on Sunday it is going to be intensified into a hurricane fortunately not expected to become very strong its peak intensity could be around 85 miles per hour and uh, after that it is going to be accelerated into some more unsupportive conditions and so we're expecting weakening after about Sunday Monday guys and so portions of southwestern Mexico could require a tropical storm watch but as of right now we don't have any that is in place guys and so we just have to wait and see what happens but fortunately Enrique is well off the coastline right now and it is not expected to be a very very strong tropical cyclone okay guys and so let's hop over into the north atlantic basin and so we're seeing here something quite interesting so we have our invest 95l given a lower chance to develop so as of right now it is given a 20 percent chance to develop and the reason is because of the marginally conductive conditions and the system is not looking uh, so organized right now but of course uh, the national center states that development if any will be slow to occur during the next several days guys and so regardless this thing here looks like it's going to be making its way into the caribbean and interestingly let's go to what our models are expecting from it we have most of our models expecting that it is going to be achieving tropical storm status one even taking it up to being a category one hurricane so this would be very very interesting to see play out for the system here so we just have to keep an eye on it because it is likely to be affecting the caribbean um, maybe sometime early next week but it's moving relatively quickly about 20 miles per hour uh, to the west right now but as I said we just have to wait and see what happens the chance has decreased uh, by 20% because it was at 40 yesterday and now we have it down to 20 and so let's take a look at the ocean temperature map and we're seeing here that the system is definitely going to be making its way across some cool ocean temperatures and they need warm ocean temperatures in order to grow and to intensify and so being in that environment is not really going to be helpful so maybe when the system is closer to the lesser Antilles once we don't have a lot of dry air and the shear is conductive then we can expect a bit of intensification of the system but it is likely to make its way into the Caribbean guys we really have to pay attention to this because even though the chance has decreased it doesn't mean that the system will not develop we have to pay attention to it as it's going to be making its way westward and so in terms of the Saharan dust we do have some light amounts covering a most of the Caribbean and being and stretched from the Atlantic coming westward and so the system is going to be battling a bit of dry air as well guys and so conditions could become more conductive when the system is closer to the Caribbean or makes its way into the Caribbean if it survives the hostile environment out there guys and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and just remember to always be wise and keep giving updates as time goes by.